Welcome to Phil on Film. I'm Samantha Cortese with Phil Villarreal, our movie critic for K-Gun 9. And this week we're talking about the highly anticipated Cars 3. How is it, Phil? It's really good. And I'm not a fan of any Cars movies okay. until now. Uh, the first one has a lot of people have their soft spot for it. Um, it's just got its own little world. It's uh, not nearly as good as the top flight Pixar movies. But Cars 2 was a disaster. That was the only bad Pixar movie ever made. But Cars 3 gets things back on track. It's got Owen Wilson again, voicing Lightning McQueen, and he's discovered that he cannot compete with these newer, faster cars. He's got to decide, what am I going to do? What's my next stage of life going to be? So it's got something to say. There's some motion here and some exciting racing too. I think that's interesting that Disney acknowledges that Lightning is a little outdated. Yeah, they make that a storyline here. And normally I'd expect, okay, well, he's going to prove that the old school racing tactics and old cars can compete against the new ones as right. long as they go back to the roots. But no, that, that, this actually takes it all the way through saying, you know what, you've got to decide what you're going to do when you can't compete as an athlete anymore. And it can apply professionally too. I mean, what are you going to do in your next stage of your career when you can't do what you were doing before? So there's some emotion here. It's not just... Uh, Owen Wilson saying ka-chow and his other catchphrases. There's, he's like, he's got some uh, depth to his performance, to his voice performance here. So it's a pretty good movie. Kids and adults alike, you think will enjoy it? Definitely. I took all three of my kids. They all loved it. Um, so, and I liked it too. Great. And I don't want it to go unnoticed. I enjoyed your pun where you said they brought the series back on track. I know, I'm just... It was too good. Magician of words, aren't I? <laughs> all right, Phil, how many stars? Three stars. Three stars? Not yeah. bad. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. And coming from uh, somebody who didn't like the first two Cars movies, I'll take it. Yes. Three stars, Cars 3. And where can we find more reviews? KGun9.com. Thanks, Phil.